when I first started out on YouTube, well, nah, we gotta go, we gotta go as to why I started out on YouTube first. You know, ever since I was in school, like, I really don't have much memories of school. Like, people would take whole this account of me to, accountable to me. Like, my friends are pretty pissed about it because at the time I kind of forgot their names, too. <laughs> I'm really the reason why I don't have friends. You know, like, during my school days, like, really, as much as I don't remember much about it, I remember just sitting there. Like, we've all, like, we've all been there, right? We just sit in this one group and all, and we just talk and laugh it out, but like it's coming to me just uh, just give me some time please in school like i remember being like in like different groups and all of friends and people talking about different things pop culture is that the word you use here i'm assuming and trends and whatnot i just remember just standing there like you know like in these corridors or in classrooms just standing there listening to them and just whenever i speak my mouth or whenever i open my mouth you know, it's just that, what am I doing? What am I, I'm not even interested in whatever garbage the kids around me are talking about, like talking about crushes, talking about how that teacher's nostril hair is a little bigger than the other teachers. That might be just me when I think about it. But yeah, um, I don't know. I always felt such disconnected from my class, from my school, and just the really past of my life. So to be honest with you, the only proper memory I have in school is just sitting under this tree near our basketball court. And I always, I always used to just fucking sleep there. And like the best part of my school life was just really sleeping there. And, you know, even though I was a socially awkward and weirdo in school, I met fellow socially awkward weirdos in school. And <laughs> those were the friends I was talking about <laughs> before. And yeah, we kind of hit it off and I still know them and they're still close, good friends of mine. But what I came to bring you in with me is that really just for the majority of my life, I've always felt so hollow. Like, I don't know what I was doing. I was just standing there because someone told me to. I was doing things because someone told me to. Like, I felt so empty. I felt like, what am I doing here? Like, I get, I write exams. I talk to girls. I do every crap every high schooler does and like what am i like i don't know i always felt so disconnected like i was lying to myself my whole damn life laughing around with people just to fit in and just walking around just come on you've all been through the high school phase you're in the high school phase my apologies <laughs> but yeah really it's just that i'm coming up to something all right i'm not good at it well this talking to you so let me just practice here while i'm trying to make this so yeah um like yeah and that's when i met two <laughs> i wouldn't say similar dumbasses or you know maybe i dragged those dumbasses let's call them dumbass one dumbass two dumbass one dumbass two <laughs> knows who they are because they watch me <laughs> all right so this is where i started my youtube channel after i was done with fucking school actually this wasn't this like now that i picked it okay there's too much, the backstories, the fucking plot lines, the timelines. Alright, so yeah, uh, and I remember watching YouTube videos when I come back from school and seeing just all these people in, in a comment session and talking and having a good time. These queerers are really able to just make people happy and <laughs> I kind of grew up, grew on it a little bit and one day in part of my school, I think it was after my 10th exams, that's when I started out my youth, uh, this youth hour. <laughs> It was our YouTube channel back then before I kicked everyone out because capitalism was a thing then, baby. Nah. <laughs> I grew up here. Okay. That's where we started out our YouTube channel. So I've originally the channel, like if you guys have seen the Gmail and all, it's called Nostalgia Gamers. Like that was the start, the pinnacle of our channel. So us three, like... Yeah, I just brought two of my friends, Dumbass 1, Dumbass 2, and we just, you know, made a channel making, you know, some stupid shit videos. Like, that was this game, like, I don't know if no one looks at my old videos. Uh, it's called Brofoots, and we did a, a video on that, and re it really took off, and more importantly than that, like, I always used to rewatch it. I didn't care about the likes, the views, or comments, or any crap I got or right now. That I just remember while making that, in the production, like, uh, recording that, editing that, like, that was the most happy I felt my whole life, because I was really just 
sharing this with people you know like what made me more happy is when people just were all, <laughs> laughing at us because you know we were just some awkward kids not doing things according to the curriculum back then so yeah like i don't know just seeing people just smile laugh just i love that feeling and and then i slowly started making more stupid shit <laughs> along the years and then i feel like it was towards my 11th exams uh i think i broke my leg because high schooler uh, and you know i had to take some time off in school from school it was exam right then but i remember ever since i made that bro <laughs> like i was done like my my poor fucking mom like man this is fun <laughs> talking to you it's fun so yeah um like yeah yeah, yeah 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 so i i broke my leg and that's when i made the first like channel trailer for my please no one watch my old videos <laughs> i'm gonna be deleting the message <laughs> so yeah uh uh yeah i made my first channel trailer and then you know i slowly started making videos on my own because dumbass one dumbass two they were still in school and i don't know they didn't have that same connection as me and that's why i felt like it would be better to kick them out and capitalize on this on my own because <laughs> that's who i am things were tough then man like there's so many things there's so many gaps that i've still yet to fill and i'm not filling it because it's gonna be something that you can really take something away from <laughs> the value people keep talking to me about to put in youtube videos because let's be honest people don't have time for this shit <laughs> back to what we saying. i broke my leg then i went on making youtube videos again and that was a time like like making youtube videos back then even when the youtube economy like it, these things aren't really said in india in india it's about being an engineer or a doctor you go get kicked off the curb right <laughs> it still isn't know who the fuck are we kidding but yeah so i was really shunned on by my friends family still i am to a degree but it doesn't affect me as the way it did to that kid back then who was really just struggling to find himself and what he wants to do with his life you know so yeah and then i went on and on making videos and then i finally finished my school life at that's when it really started you guys that's when i started on a path that i was naive to really to hone what i wanted to do and what i needed to do didn't come to click and i went on making video after video uploading daily doing so many crazy shit that looking back when well, i'm so great not i say not so great not because the editing is bad or i suck let's be honest but I still <laughs> I gotta stop dissing myself. So I, I I gotta leave something to you guys, right? So yeah, um, just that it didn't connect the way I wanted it to do back then. Cause really, I was just using YouTube for two years of my life to just run away from everything. Like I wanted to run away, man. And on that path of just really using the using YouTube as an escapism, I lost so many damn things. <laughs> I lost so many good friends that really with me. Even these times when I was just you know. When I was doing things they didn't understand, but they supported me so much in their own fun, goofy way, I lost it. <laughs> I did. And friends and family, people around me who really supported my fucking <sighs> mortal self. I kind of lost all of it in those two years. And then the third year, <laughs> I broke down. Like, I did all of this and the, all the energy and effort and passion. Nothing happened. I was still at 100 subscribers. I hadn't gained one sub since that Brofos video. And then, in the third year, <laughs> sorry. That's the reason why I had looking back in the past. Yeah, the third year, well, I made videos. I made more videos. Still the naive sense of making videos. And I reached out to a lot of people. Over the third year, I really got better at connecting with people and talking to fellow creators and just really connecting with you. <laughs> and thanks to your kindness i slowly started building but it wasn't really anything right home about and if you guys know and i'm talking to the walks of people who are not living in their mother's basement like some of us <sighs> you know that three years just sitting here with the i with a phone and a pc making no monet monetary gains or nothing it's just it's wishful like i'm still amazed that i survived three years without anything to show like i can't blame my family or anyone for this because i <sighs> i couldn't make it even in three years even with everything i put down like in india it's, uh, like 
in India, it's not very much known for us for people to do what they want. Every Indian can, you know, back me up on this. Uh, and I did. I went to that taboo path, and really, like, not getting that success, not showing the things I need to show to keep doing what I desperately love doing more than anything in the world. I didn't have that in the third year. Like, I was just really in fights with my family, and just you know. I couldn't bring 100% of me into YouTube, and I was just really fighting myself for as long as I remember. To be honest, the biggest obstacle in my YouTube career has been me. The fourth year, and still nothing much changed, but recently, and I mean some months time, I, you know, well, this is where the Genshin Impact arc of my life started i found this game a friend of mine clickbaited me into affected playing and he said he'd play with me but the motherfucker never showed up and then this game showed me a sense of peace that i've been missing out in my life and i never knew i needed and i really just wanted more of it and, and i took it into the video format and i saw some things here and there but i never went full in on it because mind you i was still naive about the way doing youtube and recently on the course of some days months again i started going full in on genshin impact i don't really know how many people of you are really just you know from where like i still yet to learn a lot about you that's why i always actively read comments and i just always just cross my fingers that someone will say some stupid shit in the comments like Knowing you are there and you're connecting and interacting with me is the best conversation I can ask on this platform <laughs> right now, man. Like, sure, I need money. Let's be honest. We all need fucking money, but I need you more than that. Poor dude. I learned a lot more about YouTube recently. And again, <laughs> again, like I did. And I started looking at there's three things that are really define a video and i'm taught and this can be shared among you fellow people who want to start on youtube ctr the click-through rate the viewer duration and the viewer retention and i recently saw that you know my click-through rate were always flicker here and there like i couldn't understand what i need to do with my thumbnails to just really connect with you and in turn i really thought i wasn't connecting with you the way i always thought i was and then secondly the viewer duration was well, you know, recently, I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed, like, people who started watching me since the Arch Key, Pelago arc of, Arch Key, I said it right, right, of <laughs> Kenjin. You know that I used to do so many meme and just shit post style videos, and I really just, you know, flushed it out to more story driven, because that's why I always wanted to go, like, my biggest dream as a kid, ever s the second I started on YouTube, was really just play a game for you guys and take you through my views and just notions of what I, how I see a game. And really just, you know, let that be a takeaway. Because let's be honest, there's no one who does anything the way I do. And then recently I've been on, in talks with some Genshin Impact YouTubers and we were really just, I'm not going to name this guy for his own sake. And he just really, he, gave, he told me one thing <laughs> that really brought up my biggest insecurity, which I've been having. And which is something that, again, we're going to take a full dip into the past because, well, that's a story for another day. He told me that I was mumbling throughout the whole video and that's why people were just clicking off like newcomers. You know, you guys <laughs> are pretty used to my mumbling, I'm assuming. So then, you know, I talked to him. And then we just closed out the conversation because I needed his help with something and he had his own morals and principles as the creator and I want to respect that. So I just closed the conversation then and there. Never saw the guy since. <laughs> he's a good guy. I'm not going to name him, but he's another Genshin Impact iconic creator out there trying to do his thing. That's all you need to know. So, and then, you know, that was the day I think I uploaded the last video I uploaded in a while, which is that Taniki video. <sighs> and I just really just sat there like in the sofa like i don't know i felt like all the years of me trying to change me trying to just just and you know, what i do here you know is be heard and understood and just connect with you and give you what i couldn't give myself all these years a reason to be happy when he said that i was just mumbling through my whole video like just made me really just backtrack as to what the hell was I doing all these times. Like, this is the time when I started improving my videos in. And, you know, he was talking to me about metrics and all the nerd crap. 
But you know, it's true because I know these nerd crap myself now too. But that's not the point, man. Like, it just made me realize. It just made me so sad. It made me think for a second that all these years of what I try to do never worked out. And that was more painful to me than whatever I've endured all these years doing what I love to do, just to make you smile. And that's when I thought it's time to take a step back. You know, I wanted to improve on my well, mumbling as he told me I was. And I've been recently just trying things to just improve that because it's something I've always had, uh, even in my school days. I've heard it time and time again. But, you know, the thing about India is that, well, <sighs> so, yeah, I mean, that's when I decided just to take a step back and just really adjust things. Not like numbers govern me, but at the same time, use the numbers and the knowledge that have been given to me, given to me by my YouTube mentors and just really understand the game, the algorithm and get to where I need to be, which is 1 million subscribers, you guys. I want to sustain here. I want to make good money and I want to do what I know only me on this platform can do. Show you Genshin Impact. In a way that my dumb brain sees it and tell you a good time. <sighs> Man, like w w when you make these videos, you always have these cool lines and all in your head, but nothing comes with me. It's just, oh, oh no, it's just the same. Like, I just love seeing people happy. It makes me happy. I don't know how many times I just wished everything would end, but no matter how many times I lost what I thought I had, I always seem to pick it up. Maybe it's because of the name. Who knows? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm smiling at you awkwardly. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how to do these videos. I don't even have a script. I just said things coming from my mouth. Did you understand any of that? Let me know down in the comments if you felt I was mumbling. I'm pretty sure it was. Let's be honest with you. <laughs> just, just let me know anything. Anything you want to know from me or anything you felt or took away from this video, please engage with me in the comments. Like, it's better you leave a comment than like the video, to be honest with you, because I want to talk to you, you know? And I know for a fact I am talking to you right now, but you know what I mean. So yeah, let me know in the down in the comment section below. Well, anything. <laughs> I know I had this video, I'm just sitting here thinking about more things. God, I hate looking back in the past. I go back to watching some fat clown or BB bus could be bought up on the internet. Take care. See ya. Man. <laughs> okay, bye. Stop talking to the camera. God, I love talking to you. All right. Bye. Why? You know, you should see the uncut version of me doing these videos. It's a fucking mess. Have you subscribed for this mess yet? All right. Bye-bye.